friends welcome to mnc okay in today's session we are dealing with some of the very very important questions which will be coming for your keem as well as uh, for your je 2020 examination entrance examination okay anyway we are going to the questions uh, we are dealing with some of the important questions okay now in the first question is based on integration the first question is given here is integral 0 to 2 10 pi modulus of sin x dx c it it is given is modulus of sin x not just sin x it is modulus of sin x to understand how to integrate a modulus function is very very important because to see you are not you are you are you, are, you are already know that the graph of the sin x function what right? the graph of which function sin x function is like this right how it goes on like this right this is a way to draw the graph of sin x right yeah you know that it is here it is zero and here it is pi and here it is 2 pi it goes on like that right and what is the change will happen when sin x changes to modulus of sin x what is the change in the graph the change in the graph is like the graph becomes like this see how it is like this see in simple uh, going to the physics option physics when you think, think about this is an example for an ac yeah, alternating current and this is an example of a direct current yeah no don't go to that i'm going to the question i'm coming to the question here and you know it is pi here and it here it is 2 pi it is 3 pi and this is 4 pi right yes then that means when you are going to the uh, when you when you have to integrate 0 to 10 by modulus of sin x you have to understand that mod of sin x is this thing this is a, mo- a graph of mod of sin x okay and you have to integrate from where you have to integrate from 0 to 10 pi that means it goes to 10 pi you, s- you have already seen that the application of integration or seen the application of integration is that to find the area okay that means we have to understand that what is the area of this much region what is the area which is covered from 0 to pi the shaded which has been shaded by the red color what is the area of this thing i can tell that it is 2 why it is 2 it is because i will i will, I will show an example see you already know that you had in the, you had integrated 0 to pi by 2 see just you are taking 0 to pi by 2 that means half the area half the, this area that means here here it lies pi by 2 right okay that means 0 to pi by 2 means this much area right uh, when you integrate 0 to pi by 2 sin x dx what is the integral of sin x it is you studied it is minus cos x right and what is the value since it is a definite integral you can put in a box and write upper limit and lower limit sorry uh, lower limit and upper limit right and what is the value upper limit minus lower limit that means it is uh, cos pi by 2 minus cos 0 see what will be happening to that what will be happening here that means the value is this of cos pi by 2 it is 0 cos 0 it is 1 right and minus and minus 1 you see here it becomes minus of minus 1 that means the answer for it is 1 see that means the area from 0 to pi by 2 from the area 0 to pi by 2 of this much area is 1 half of this graph see the upper portion right maybe you can tell it as a crust yeah upper portion of this much half of the section is 1 and when you add this much section also when you add to this this section what is that it is also 1 and that, that's why i am telling that the area of this this much section is 2 from 0 to pi it is 2 from pi to 2 pi it is 2 From 2 pi to 3 pi it is 2. See, from 3 pi to 4 pi it is 2. That means how many pi is there? 10 pi. That means the total area covering is that. What is the total area will be covering? What is the area full be? What is the area covering? Up to 10 pi is that? 0 to 10 pi goes on to 0 to 10 pi. That means how many times? 10 times into 2 you get the answer as 20. Therefore, you can tell that the answer is 20. You understood? This is the solution. Therefore, the option A is the right answer. One of an important question. See, 
that you go through some of the important uh, questions of modulus functions okay in integration okay you got it yes going to the second question what is the question given that you find the value of integral minus 1 to 1 mod x into modulus of x dx and the options here it is given as a equal to 2 b equal to 1 c equal to 1 by 4 and d is equal to 0 to 0 0 and 0 okay how to integrate this thing you see whenever you go through the question when you, when you go through the question for integration you have studied about the properties of definite integral right whenever there is a limit in the question from a negative limit to the positive limit negative a to positive a that means negative value to the positive value of the same number of f of x dx you have studied a result by property right there can be two answers right there can be two answers what is the first answer it can be zero it can be zero when f of x is an which function odd function f of x is an odd function and it is the result and the result of this thing will be two times integral 0 to a f of x dx the value of this thing becomes two times integral 0 to a f of x dx when f of x is an even function you have heard you have heard about this heard about this property right yes see whenever when you go through when you whenever you get a problem in the free integral which is from the from the negative limit of the negative limit to the positive limit of the same value you go to this result see you you, sh you see that the function given here that means here given what is the function given here it is given here is x and mod x right to see that this function is odd or even see that it is odd or even then you can go to the result when you go to the question here when you go to the question what is the question given what is the function here f of x is equal to function is x into here it is given as what is that it is given as f of x is equal to what is that x into mod x x into mod x you see that is it even or odd what is even and odd even or odd what do you mean by even function or function you see you are, you, are, you, are, you know that right what is that when you put f of minus x you get minus of f of x it is which function this function is an odd function when you put the value x minus x you get minus of f of x it is an odd function when you put f of minus x to replace x by minus x then you, if you get f of x that means that minus is removed it is an even function this is to distinguish between even and odd right the, 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 the result is this thing okay understand that you see you have to look forward that is this function x mod x is an odd or even when you go to the question what is f of minus x i'm looking i'm looking forward is it odd or even i replace x by minus x then you can write here as minus x into modulus of minus x right you see you replace x by minus x and this x also by minus x that means it is here it is minus x itself and this minus x see modulus of minus x since modulus because you always take the absolute value and this minus x become positive x see what happened the answer is minus of that function that means you can tell that the function given f of x is equal to x into mod x is strictly an what function it is an odd function it is an odd function you are seeing the result that if it is an odd function the value of that thing will be equal to zero that means you can tell that since this function is which function you can tell that this function is now sorry this function is what this function is an even function sorry it's not an even function it's an odd function you can write that answer as zero therefore which answer d is the answer therefore answer is d is the right option you got it always see that whenever there is a problem in integration which goes to the negative limit or to the positive limit of the same value you always go to see that is the function given is odd or even then you can get the result okay the answer is d is right answer okay i write it down
Okay students going to question number 3 the question here it is given in integral is that integrate e raised to x into tan inverse x plus 1 by 1 plus x square c right and the option here given a b c the options are given here c what is the answer for this question what will be the answer here you can do this question in two ways see whenever there is a question which comes for integral which strictly it is on indefinite integral you can go through the options and just differentiate these options and see that if you differentiate these options you get this answer see what is the first option given here the first option here it is e raised to x and when you take the derivative see you are going to take the derivative of e raised to x into what is that tan inverse e raised to x into tan inverse x when you go through the result e raised to x into when you take the derivative of this function you have to apply which rule you have to apply product rule should be applied right because there are two functions the product rule what is the product rule you take the first into derivative of second plus second into derivative of first right that means what is the first function e raised to x into derivative of this in tan inverse x what is the derivative of tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square right plus second into what is second function e raised to x into derivative of e raised to x what is the derivative of e raised to x it is e raised to x itself right when you take e raised to x as common what will be happening you can take e raised to x common both side right right that means when e raised to x is taken as common what is remaining you get 1 by 1 plus x square right plus what is the answer here you get tan inverse x see what happened what happened you got you got this thing right and this is a question here see whenever there is a question in integration it is when it is on based on indefinite integral in order to get the solution you just differentiate the options and see that when you differentiate the options you get the question which is to be integrated okay is it clear yeah this is one of the way the second way is that you already studied the result in your uh, in, the, in, in your chapter in your integration chapter that you studied this result right which result integral of e raised to x into a function plus the derivative of that function comes right just you have heard about this heard about this result right yeah what is the result what is the result integral of there should be e raised to x into function plus what is that it is the derivative of this function when it comes when you integrate you do it by integration of parts and the, and you are study the result here what is the result the answer of this integral is e raised to x into f of x plus c this is the result you studied you go when you go to the what is the question given here the question is given here is e raised to x into tan inverse x plus 1 by 1 plus x square c this what is the what is the function here tan inverse x what is the derivative of tan inverse x it is 1 by 1 plus x square c right as so, or no the function here it is tan inverse x the derivative of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square that means the function plus the derivative of the function is there by we by using this result you can by using this result you can write as e raised to x into tan inverse x plus c is the answer or either you can do like this or you can do like this too okay this is a shortcut way this is uh, this uh, this method that means by using differentiating the options you get the uh, question to be integrated okay this can also be done in difficult question it maybe it will be very useful okay in this question i think this is the easiest way and the answer for the, an the answer for this question is option number a is the right answer you got it okay